Hey guys, basket news from Manila. It's really hot out there, but I really believe that the real heat is going to be here in the Mall of Asia arena. Day, very important day, the opener of the FIBA World Cup. It should be a historical game. The capacity of Philippines Arena is 55,000 people. It might, you know, break the record of the World Cup attendance. For the record, the official record is 32,616 fans that witnessed the FIBA World Cup 1994 in Canada. There were questions if they're going to lock down the arena during the game due to the president's presence. If the Wi-Fi is going to work, there will be internet inside the gym, so a lot of speculations, a lot of interesting rumors. It's the only day, the only game day, where the games will be hosted in the Philippines Arena. There were hopes that at least 50,000 people will attend Philippines Arena uh, for the open air game of the World Cup. And uh, at least 28,000 tickets were already bought like 10 days before. The odds for the new record are really high. Manila's government took care of uh, trying to make this e day easier for everyone. Public schools are closed today. The government's work is also closed just to make less traffic in streets for everyone to reach the gym. So, I mean, a lot of excitement before this game. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna have some escort to go to get us to the game. Nice. Philippine basketball fans are just amazing. It's the place when you can actually feel there's a basketball player. A few random people just approached me, asked for the selfies. A couple of thought that I'm Christopher Porzingis, despite my uh, height limitations. So it's it's pretty exciting to be among the the local Filipino basketball fans. Okay, so it's time for the verdict. I will forever cherish the moment when I stepped into the Philippine arena because the size of the gym, the greatness of the arena, the depth of the stands, I mean, during the game at some points, I couldn't see fans on the, you know, roof tribune because it was just too, so far away. It looked like the basketball amphitheater, you know, basketball players being as the main stars of the, of the whole show. I mean, it really left me speechless. I believe it's going to be these once-in-a-lifetime moments. You know what surprised me? Uh, the arena was way more modern than I thought when it was announced that the Philippine arena won't host uh, the final stage of the competition. Experiencing that atmosphere, experiencing that feeling being inside such a great arena, I really wish that you know we had final phase organized uh, in the Philippine arena. Unfortunately, due to traffic and logistical Concerns. the organizing committee decided to move the final games from the Philippine Arena to the Mall of Asia. That sucks. First thing I'm going to remember about the Philippine Arena atmosphere is a kiss cap because I've never heard people in the basketball gym being so loud and enthusiastic by kiss cam jokes. I mean, I was told that it 
might be because locals are shy and kissing in public is, is kind of a big deal. So, you know, and cameraman did a great job making some pressure for some couples. And, but as I said, I mean, in some situations, people were laughing so much that it's probably the loudest laugh that I've heard in basketball gym ever. During the game, the atmosphere reminded me of the NBA fans, even some chants, very similar to what you can hear in the NBA arenas. They were supporting loud their team, uh, they were emotional, they really loved the highlight plays, they even cheered for Carl Anthony Towns before the game. And you could obviously tell that the players were affected by, you know, the grand opener of the FIBA World Cup, but also by 58,000 people in the stands. You could see that they made some emotional plays. At certain points, it looked like a space jam. I've talked to a couple of players and they told me that, you know, the hands were literally shaking in the first half, so. Oh, and all these rumors about the potential lockdown of the Philippine arena or shutting down the Wi-Fi connection during the game, it was all fake. The main difference from Europe, I would say the lack of organized supporting. Uh, of course, it's always a big task, you know, to handle such a huge crowd of 38,000 people. But, you know, there was this moment when my Greek friend sitting next to me told you, uh, told me, can you imagine if there were 38,000 Panathinaikos or Olympiakos fans? <sighs> oh, that was tough. I was, I was missing that kind of experience. Kat, what do you think about the Philippine team, Kat? Oh, great team, great country. They treat us not but well, but well here. Food's amazing. So, Salama, Mambuhai. Thank you, everyone, who's been so gracious to us. Oh, and there's this one more thing which you don't usually see in Europe. I mean, I was so shocked to see some fans leaving stands. 90 seconds to play and Philippines being down by only 5 points. When the last minute of the game started, the players remained in the half empty arena, although the Dominican Republic players shooting free throws the way they did last night. I mean, it was not a done game at all, so I was, I was shocked. I know that it's hard to reach your home after the game with almost 40,000 people in the gym. Still, you know, don't take this opportunity for granted. You never know how long it will take to have another basketball celebration in your country. You know, just cherish the moment and stay with your team. Reward them with clapping, with cheering after the final whistle. Be together and you never know how many games left uh, for your team in the competition. So that was a bit surprising thing. On my way to the Philippine arena, I talked to the volunteer and she was so proud of her country finally getting rights to host this competition. I mean, she almost started crying. I can confidently say that this is a country crazy about basketball and they really deserve to host this celebration. People are awesome. They're smiling all the time, trying to help us. And the way they are, we are treated here is just, it's just amazing. So congratulations, Philippines. Best of luck in the remaining of the competition. And thanks for watching this vlog. See you soon in the upcoming basketball vlogs.